In this video, I'll be showing the deployment of that uh, Docker Docker Compose file, uh, which I was uh, which I have created in uh, VS Code or uh, into the Amazon AWS services. I am using my free tier part. Let me first log into the my uh, AWS account. Due to memory issues, this uh, instance is always stopping. So I need to just uh, restart that instance as uh, it is in the running in the freeze tier. I have used IP, elastic IP I have used. This is my elastic IP. I have linked it to uh, one of the domain which I purchased purchase from godaddy.com. Uh, this is my domain which I have purchased from godaddy.com. It cost me around 500 rupees. This is my domain which I purchased. And here I have linked that to the name part. Let me restart that uh, EC2 instance. Uh, running instances uh, dashboard I have running instances zero let me start that instance I think it is stopped it has not stopped yet Till that time, let me open my uh, PM file and keep other things ready. This is CMDR which I am using. CMDR is a best tool, and you can use instead of uh, that uh, command prompt. Uh, here is my PM file. And let me see if uh, this instant is stopped it is stopped so let me restart it start the instance this uh, starting and restarting in of the instance is uh, due to less memory this is free tier that is a uh, t2.micro and uh, my uh, that server is very uh, heavy i think uh, it is around uh, uh, 800 to 900 MBs, it is consuming its RAM. That's why it is always failing. Every day I need to restart it. <coughs> it is running, but the uh, initial status check is still initializing. Uh, instance has uh, started successfully, you can check here. Now I will connect this instance to connect. I will select SSH client and just copy. I'll just paste it here. Now I'll log in one more client so that I would be able to monitor its monitor the condition of the system. First of all, I need to clear the memory as well. Here I will be keeping all the. See, currently it is using 219 MBs. I'll just check the images, Docker images.
See, there are already created three images. They are already latest. Let me first uh, remove them or, uh, or else I can just uh, rebuild them. Let me show you how I have got that. I have a Git uh, repository there. It is uh, by default in the Amazon AWS services. This is the Git repository. Here you can see all the contents from my Git repository. It has been pulled here. Let me show you my Git repository. All these three contents you can see there. Now I will uh, just pass the command docker compose up. up and uh, minus D4 to run it in the background mode. I'll press enter. You can see the memory consumption here. It drastically it increases to 645, 652, 680. All three, all the three uh, containers are up now. And I can access my website from here. See here, you can access this website from this Amazon Web Services admin. See all the data has been fetched successfully. And all the functionalities you can do here as well. This is the reception page. This is a content page. This is the last one is patient page. Successfully all the pages are running as expected. So here you can see 788 MB of RAM it is consuming. I will show you all the images. These are the three containers. These are the names which I have given backend and database. <coughs> you can see the default name. It is very different. It is up from two minutes, created 45 years over ago, or yesterday I have created. Only 80 port is exposed. This is internal port. I have around six or eight images. See, there are three containers here. Website is running. You can access through this domain name from anywhere.
I am uh, running under the free tier. This is the Docker Compose uh, Docker's uh, user interface. You can easily see all the containers, images, volumes you have used, images and all. Let me clear all the unused and dangling images. Connect to this uh, thing. I have uh, done the setting like this, this way. I have written the name of the database that is container and port of it. And I have exposed the port to 4000. Thank you. I had uh, implemented Jenkins as well. But uh, it failed due to lack of memory. Uh, my Amazon EC2 instance was running out of memory.